Hello guys and welcome to Transport Fever with me Biffer. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been so excited to dive in and play this game. If you've ever played Transport Tycoon or Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, something like that, you are going to absolutely love this game. Let's stop following this car and let's zoom out. Here we are in our little tiny town with lots of houses, lots of businesses, lots of things going on. Let's, oh, there's somebody's building a house. Industrial building is being built as we speak. But let's zoom out. This is a land filled with potential. Look at all of this. That was just bushy. There's Bushy, there's Todd Morton, there's Bradford upon Avon, there's Cranbrook, there's Frodsham. Frodsham! There's always a Frodsham in Transport Tycoon. If you remember Frodsham in Transport Tycoon, then leave a comment below and tell me. Frodsham! That's the comment to leave. Oh, there's lots of stuff going on here. So basically, what we're trying to do here is earn money. We're trying to grow up our empire, our tycoon empire, by making money, by using trains, trucks, ships, and planes eventually. And we can transport people. We can transport goods. You can see what goods people want, what goods they make. For instance, let's have a look here. Penzance Steel Mill, they require iron and coal they will make steel and steel and slag and steel so there we go and then you find someone else that wants those things so lots of production chains tied in with a city building sort of thing going on so i'm really looking forward to getting into this now what i normally do i've been playing a few of these games to get into sort of the idea of how it works and all that sort of thing is we want to start off with something that's going to make us a decent amount of money um Let's have a look over here. So there are a few things that will produce but don't need anything. Um, one of those is, here we go, uh, an iron ore mine, of course, will produce iron. You can send that off somewhere to be worked. Um, but one of the easy ones to get started with, there's a couple really, um, there's like this one here will produce, oh, that's an iron ore mine, it's the symbol, it looks the same. I'm looking for one, I'll tell you what, I can show you down here. Look, let me open this up. Product. Uh, I am looking for one that produces wood. Here we go. So let's go for, to a forest, for instance. There we go. So a forest will just produce wood. You can then send that somewhere to be turned into planks. Let's see if there's anywhere nearby. Or in fact, we could... There we go. Penzance Sawmill. Let's have a look at that one. Let's move that window down. So you get the idea. But you want to find things that are near to each other, not too far away, so you're not spending too much money. Now, I normally like to start with oil, and around Todd Morton here, we have the perfect storm of money-making scenario. So we have this here. Let's leave this open. The Todd Morton Oil Wells producing oil. Produces 96, limit 100. It's going well at the moment. We can send that over here to the Todd Morton Oil Refinery. Let's take a closer look at that. Which will take our oil and turn it into... This is crude oil. We'll turn it into oil for fuel. That should be called crude oil, but it... Oh, it is called crude oil, beg your pardon. That will turn it into oil and fuel. And we can then send that fuel to different places. And one of the places we can send it to is a town. So if we look at Todd Morton... Todd Morton would like fuel, it would like machines, it would like construction material, food, and all that sort of thing. This here ties into... There we go, look, we can see the different land use, residential, commercial, industrial around here. So what I'm going to try and do is try not to sort of dive in and show you too much complicated stuff. But we'll start off with a nice basic line that's going to earn us money. And to go that far, I'm pretty sure we could just use roads. Um, that'll be fine. So let's connect up here with some roads. And we're going to go with a standard small country road. Or should we go with a small street? 12 miles an hour, 25. Yeah, 25 miles an hour country road. I think that will be fine at the moment. And we're just going to basically drag this along here and connect it over there. That's going to cost us 88k. That's fine. I've got the game. Do I have it paused at the moment? Let's keep it paused while we're building this first thing. There we go. So we want a depot over here so we can get the items out of there. So if we go to this one, so we've got people, we've got goods. So for trucks, we've got buses and trams and that sort of thing. For goods, we've got our truck stations. 
So as you connect that to the road, you see this oil refinery lights up. That means it's going to have the goods from that oil refinery. We can probably go quite a distance. It will still connect. Let's see. Actually, not too far. So that's about as far away as we can go and it will connect. More or less there. So let's put that down. There we go. So we can close that for now. Let's leave this one open. This will be where the goods will come to. And then we want one the other end. Where are we? Here we go. And this is where they will be getting their goods from. So let's put that on there. If at any time you see... Let's see, how far can we go? Just trying to save them some, some journey time. Yeah, that's too far. Let's go on here. If at any time you see a slight dip in the FPS, that is just the game at the moment. There, it's I think it's beta at the moment. They're working on improving how the game runs. Um, it's improved a lot since I last looked at it because I w I've been waiting. Let's have a sip of tea. I've been waiting to get a solid FPS on it before I played it, and it has now, so I'm starting. Okay, right, so let's make some space. So click down here, a line manager. We want to have a line going from here to here. This is going to be our oil line. So we'll have a new line. We'll add a station. We'll have that one to that one. There we go. We will rename that. We'll delete that. There we go. Crude oil. So what is this called? Todd Morton... Just call it crude oil for now. We can change the name. So we know what that is. Excellent. Then we want to send some trucks. So I want the trucks to start. Let's get this game going now. Because I want some crude oil to build up here. And they want, to, I want the trucks to start here. So we're going to need a depot. So let's go and grab our depot. Um, to move these around, it's the N and the M key. If you want to do little bits of movement, it's shift N and M. There we go. So, for instance, I want to sort of just line that up a bit better. There we go. That's fine. So now we want to buy some trucks that are going to be able to transport for us uh, the oil that we have. So we've got all sorts of different ones here. Ooh, a new vehicle. You generally get a dip in FPS when a menu pops up here. A game save and a new vehicle. That's going to do it for you. We don't want passenger. We want freight. So at the minute we have horse wagons. I've started in 1900. So we're waiting for the years to go by before we get some actual vehicles. So let's have a look at the speeds. 9 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour. Uh, this will hold capacity of 6, 4 and 5. So this is the fastest and the biggest. Let's buy for 5 of those. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now they're all in here. We can set the line. Let's have a another quick sip of tea. Wet my whistle. We can set the line for all of these to the same one, so it's going to be crude oil. And they will immediately head out. There we go. And they will head to here first. You can see what they're going to do. Let's close the lines down. And they will automatically space themselves out. So there'll be a bit of a pause. The next one will go out. A bit of a pause. The next one will go out. And they are immediately costing us money. But that's fine. We will soon be earning money. So we're waiting for this guy here. To be producing at the minute he's not producing anything let's have a look what have we got here we want to keep this one open that's the one at the other end this is the one we want to be looking at at the moment so it is storing some crude oil there we go we can see it's there so what i could probably do is slow this down is actually get one of these guys to come back and pick that up there we go you come back and pick that up they've got a capacity of six wasn't it and we have here four so by the time he gets back You'll be able to pick that up. Five. There's going to be even more, actually. So I might even just get... If I just get them all to turn around, by the time they come back... There we go. I will let him go all the way. Now we'll go on. Let's bring him back as well. There we go. That's it. There we go. He's picked it up. So there's three left. So this is the guy we're following at the minute. So keep in mind, this guy is basically... He's been bought, he's gone down here, he's costing money every month as time goes by. He's got six crude oil on him, he's got to travel all this way to get down here to drop it off over at the Todd, uh, the Todd Maud, Morden oil refinery. So let's open that one as well. So let's see how much money he's going to make. Let's have a little ride, we can follow him like this. Here he is, heading through the town. What a great looking vehicle. 
Whoa, he's going super fast. Let's get the in in car view. There we go. And this is all going to be built up. We're going to have so much stuff going on in this area. It's going to be fantastic. Let's follow him again. So we can look at our finances. We can see how much money it's cost us so far. But how much are we going to make out of the six crude oil? <laughs> it's like he's leaving money on a trail behind him. Let's see. Let's see how much money we make when he gets there. Here he comes. He's going to drop it off. And he's going to make... Come on, make lots of money. 19k. Wow. So that's a profit of 15k for that run. That's including... Oh, a new vehicle. Nice. That is including... We wasted a bit of time going backwards and forwards, didn't we? So these guys should hopefully all have crude oil in them. Five of six... That means this guy's probably empty. Two of six. I wonder whether I should set some of these to only go when they're full. Three of six. We've actually got five here now. I think this is going to end up starting to fill up. So that's fine. So there we go. So we are making money already, which is fantastic. So I'm going to close those two down. So now at the other end, back down here again. Because we have the crude oil coming in, we can make oil and we can make fuel. And the fuel I want to send back to Todd Morton. And of course, we've already got a road set up here, which is fantastic. So, let's put right in the middle here. How are we going to do this? I want to run a road, because if we put... Let's have a look. If we put a depot... Not a depot. There we go. One of these. A hub. A cargo hub, that's what I'm calling them. If we put one of these in the middle here, it's going to destroy some of the buildings. But we can see it's going to cover the, almost the whole town. So, I mean, that would be a fantastic place. If we can squeeze that in and then destroy... Can I just put a road out here? Let's close that. Can I draw a road out here? No. Can I draw a small road? Still going to destroy three houses. So it's actually destroying less houses just to whack that thing smack in the middle. Well, let's do that then. Make sure I'm putting the right thing in. There we go. Why does it show me the depot? Oh, there we go. That's what I want. I'm <laughs> putting down the right thing. I don't think I like road depot. Used to buy and sell trucks. That is not what I want. I want one of those. There we go. Trying to get used to it all. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm going to just stick this in the middle here. Is that actually connected? If I put it there... We're going to end up building a road in here anyway, aren't we? Oh, well. Oh, that's a big one. Let's go for a small one. Yay, there we go. That's fine, that's fine. So now we can set up a second line... Between those. You know what I'd like to leave open is that. So we can see how much money we're making. 44.7k already. Let's speed things up a bit more. Let's put in another line. So we're going to now have a line going from here to here. And this is going to be our fuel line. So let's delete this. Fuel. There we go. That's going to be our next line. So we now want some vehicles. They are going to come from it is. Fine road vehicles. I'm not quite sure how much fuel we're going to be moving at first. He doesn't go fast as you know. So we're going to have, what should we have? Two, three, four. Let's just try four. And we're going to set the line for all of those to fuel. So off they go. So we've got our fuel line. And that's not too far to travel, actually, is it, from here to there? Now, we're not going to have any fuel waiting here until... I think what happens is... We've got the line set up, so the game knows you can now transport from here to there. But what's going to happen is, is these trucks are going to turn up. They are going to show as... That's not the new one. This is one of the new ones, is it? One of these. There we go. Whoops. So these are one of the new trucks that we've just made. It's going to say logs. Until, where's he gone? Oh, okay, he's stopping here. Yeah, that was on the route. So he's going to go round. 
until he gets up here, the game won't know that he can pick up fuel. So let's just watch this slowly while I drink my tea a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, it's now kicked in. It's realised. Yep. You've gone there. You're heading the way up here. Oh, auto save. Here he comes. We shut the line manager down. We'll get rid of those lines. That's it. 16 mile an hour. What is the maximum on these little country roads? 25. Yeah, so we're doing okay. You don't need to upgrade those. There we go. So he's going to come up here. There's two fuel there at the moment. I was hoping that would build up a bit quicker. Oh, somebody's picked it up. It's gone. I think it was this guy here, isn't it? Come back. Come back. <laughs> Let's slow the game down. <laughs> fuel, two of six. Yeah, people are picking up the fuel. So this should start kicking into more production. Let's, let's just keep that game going. So, it's got... Uh, it's getting oil stored, producing... It's producing both of these, actually. 29 and 16. I think only fuel will go into Todd Morden. Let's have a look. Yes, only fuel will come into Todd Morden. So, we will start increasing jobs and increasing the town once we start getting that fuel brought in here. Let's have a look how much money. So we're losing money on this at the moment because all of our trucks picked up nothing, came back. There's not that much at the moment. This is still making tons of money. Look at that one. I'm not sure where our oil will go. Oh, there we go. We're starting to make some money. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's wait for these trucks to come in. So I'm hoping this is going to start making more fuel. It's producing 44... Store 29. I'm not quite sure how that works. So we've got a limit of 100. Yep, that makes sense. We want to make sure all of our stuff is going somewhere. There we go, look. Money, making money's going up. Which is good. Automatic vehicle replacement. Oh, okay. But why does it say stored 14, but only 8 there? Unless that's being transferred over slowly. I think that's what's happening. But look at that, we're making so much money. Then here we go, look, we've gone from poor to mediocre in our job section. So that is, if we hover over there, cargo supply rating from poor to outstanding. So we're working our way up. 14% coverage for our cargo demand. So there's a demand in Todd Morden of a lot more fuel. Well, that's what we've got at the moment. We're doing okay. Let's just have a look here. We can have even more trucks. Look, there's not enough picking up over here so yeah we're gonna buy some more road vehicles there's so much oil sat there let's take another let's take another four and we're gonna set those to crude oil I should go and pick all of that up there we go Look, yeah we can literally see it being picked up and moved oh you get so many barrels and there's so many barrels there's upgrades like a container there we go 33 34 mm. That is one great cup of tea. 28. Hopefully there's going to be enough left that we don't have. So this is where the balance comes in. We want to make sure we've got not too many trucks picking up what we're making. Oh, there we go. A year save. So this has as well a limit of 100. It's producing 40 at the moment. So the more we pick up, if we balance it right, the more supply there is, the more demand there will be. Or the more demand there is, the more supply there is. So there's still 27 here. It's still building up. Let's keep an eye on that one move some of these down here, can't we? Oh man, I'm going to have great fun with this game. This is bringing back memories of Banished. There we go, that's gone up to 34%. And we're making money on both of our lines. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. So where can we send this oil? So we're sending the fuel to town. Who requires oil? So chemical plants require oil. Okay... Do we have any chemical plants nearby? That's... What's that there? That's a processing plant. That requires oil, but that's quite a way away. Oil. There we go. They want oil and wheat to make plastics. Well, we're getting into some complicated things there. I think we're going to stick with the easier ones, first of all. Um, got another oil well over there. Just whether to eat. We probably should concentrate on balancing what we've got at the moment, rather than... Wow, how much have we got? 34 waiting there. We could seriously send out 
a load more trucks. What are we doing here? So we've got enough fuel going. Okay. But we can certainly have some more of these trucks going, can't we? Let's buy another four then. Why not? Let's move that up there. Three, four. Let's set line for those two crude oil. Let's take that then. And it's be fantastic to see these guys get upgraded from these little these little car truck things all the way up to modern day vehicles and trains and planes and all that sort of stuff. I'm very excited. Mm. There we go. 29%. That is really good. That is really good. And what will happen is, as we keep um, supplying the town with the things that it needs, the town will grow, the demand for the town will grow as well. I mean, we can add roads into here if we want to. We can we can shape the town. Let's, let's shape this a bit down here. Let's add. Uh, I keep forgetting you got a drag. Oh, that's the wrong size. I like that actually because it means you can you can set something up. You can sort of change it and fiddle with it, and then when you're finally ready, you can click the tick if you want to keep it. So it's actually quite a cool way of doing it. Um, sometimes it's better to go backwards, and it will connect. Whoa, like that. Very weird. Very weird. Look at that. Odd. So I'm going to go from here. There we go. I want these two to connect sort of make like a little triangle here and the music in this so much can I just go like that so much reminds me of transport tycoon fantastic there we go that's what we want so hopefully we'll see some houses and things growing down here oh man we're making so much money this is this is fantastic this is absolutely fantastic yeah, let's exit out of that how much oil have we got here there we go so the amount of oil that's waiting has dropped down to 15, 16. That's better than it was before. So a little bit of extra. And how much fuel have we got waiting here? Three fuel. So I think what we need to start doing is trying to get rid of some of this oil because it has this potential, this limit of 100. It's producing 46, but that's 46 of both of these. So if we don't send that oil anywhere, then that is going to start causing a problem. Um, we could send it over here. But then we need to find a farm to bring in the wheat as well. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a farm right there. Look at that. So what is that producing? Hey, maybe we could just set up something here. There's already a road network between those two. And there's already a road network between these two. Hey, why not? Let's, let's see what we can do. So let's have... Oh, every time it pops that up, the game, like, stutters. It's like, whoa, what's going to happen next? Okay, where were we? We were here. Yes, there we go. So, what caught my eye? There was something in the ground. This here. Oh, it's a rock. Like, I've never seen one of those before. Right, let's get here. Oh, depot. Nope, not depot. This one here. There we go. So let's see how far. I try and sort of move it as far away as I can because then that means the trucks don't have to drive as far. I mean, it's not much, but when they're little horses and carts like this, we want to give them every opportunity to make it as quick as possible. There we go. So that's our depot for that end. Then we want a depot by the farm. There we go. I believe these grow and change as well as the years go by, so that'll be interesting to see. There we go. I don't want to destroy any of the farm, the fields or anything. I'm not sure whether that will make a difference, but let's go here, next to the field. Try and line it up a tiny bit better. There we go. Okay, excellent. So we can see our two lines. Let's set up. Yeah, lines are still making money. Let's have a new line. So this line is going to be from here to here. So what's that going to deliver? That is going to deliver wheat grain that's what it's called okay grain these these line names will probably change at some point as we get more grain farms and things set up but Dolverton grain it's 
Dolverton South. Oh, okay, so it's all around the city of Dolverton. Okay, so that's going to get the grain. That's fine. Um, so let's set up. Now we need one of these over here for to get our trucks in. Uh, let's have that over here. Let's squeeze in next to the farm. Let's try and line it up. Make it look nice. There we go. Excellent. So, let's buy some vehicles. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, darn it. That's completely the wrong thing. Why am I getting these mixed up? Well, that was a waste of money. I've been playing this game, and I know exactly what I need to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, anyway. Excellent. Oh, that's still deleting, is it? Is that like an undo function or something? What is that little red bar? Okay, it's gone there, anyway. Let's buy some road vehicles. Let's buy some freight. Uh, these are the fastest ones. They're going to take grain. Yes. Two, three, four. Let's do that. Set line. I don't know why I'm going for four. It just seems like a number. So let's open up that one. Okay, we can close our fuel. We can close that one. That one's going okay. All right. Well, there's nothing there at the moment. But there will be once it kicks in. And then... We want one other line, don't we, going from here to here. New line. From here to here to take the other sort of fuel that we've got. Um, and let's have, let's have four trucks to do that. Two, three, four. There we go. Set line... Oh, I'll call that line one. That's going to be... Let's rename line one. So what's that going to be? That is going to be oil. There we go. We've got our grain. We've got our oil. Fantastic. So let's see if we come back over here what is waiting at this one. So at the minute we've just got fuel waiting. I'm hoping that's then going to kick in in a minute. Let's speed the game up and have oil listed here as well. And then soon, this one over here, we don't want that, do we? We want this one. There we go. Soon this one over here. Oh, it's got grain waiting there already. Excellent. So if we slow this down, we can send these guys back. Let's turn them around. There you go. Skip over the line. Over the road. Turn back. Turn back. Oh, I've done you twice. Go back. Turn back. Oh, it's changing the number of the... Let's close that. Go on, I want you to go back. What? 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 Okay, well, you finish what you're doing then and get back when you're ready. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That is really weird. But anyway, so I'm hoping I've done that correctly. Yes, there we go. We've got oil and fuel waiting here. Fantastic. So they'll start picking that up. And then we've got grain waiting here. If we need to at any point, we can upgrade these to the larger sizes as well. Well, we should be okay with what we've got. So let's just see whether this starts making any money. Hopefully it will. These guys shouldn't take too long to get over there. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Transport Fever? I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in, making tons of money, and expanding to do all... I mean, there's so much stuff to do. There is so much stuff to do. We've probably overdone it on the trucks a bit. There's not so much crude oil waiting. But let me know below. If you have any tips as well, let me know. I know some of you guys would have been watching other people play this game. Oh, man, we've got oil, we've got fuel, we've got all sorts waiting. When are the guys going to turn up? They're going to pick up the pick up the fuel. It's these guys here, isn't it? Can I just like click on these and select them? I can. Where are they? Oh, he's just turning in. He's going to pick up some fuel. Yes, excellent. There we go. No, that's not what I want. I want, don't want the fuel. I want the oil. Let's have a look. Where's the oil guy? Is he coming? Is he? Oh, it's such a long way to go. It is such a long way to go. Hmm. Well, they'll get there eventually. Oh, yeah, I made those trucks all the way down here. I should have made them up here. 
they would have been a bit nearer, wouldn't they? Oh, well, never mind. We'll get there. So, guys, yes, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button, the B with the T stain. And we shall be back very soon for the next episode of Transport Fever. And we can see whether our new lines are making me money. I'm going to just check over that I've done those correctly. <laughs> I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.